Alright, I changed the resolution because my phone was yelling at me saying that the resolution was too high for the current bandwidth, so we're going to stick with this and see how this runs. So yeah, when you, uh, after you park in the garage, you come to this entrance. So I was just going to make my way from here to um, the three restaurants that we're going to look at tonight. The first place I think should be the hangar bar. Then we'll go to the boathouse and then Raglan Road right afterwards. And I'll take you a tour of the rest of the springs. But for the time being, I'll go ahead and show you how it'll be to um, show you how we get there from the parking garage. Um, I will let you know that there is a lot of music involved. So if for some reason you can't hear me or if I'm not talking, it's because I'm just letting the music play in the background. So I hope you enjoy. Also, it's a pretty windy night, so I'm not sure if the camera, uh, if the phone's gonna catch the wind, the wind noise. So I'll try to keep that in mind as well. Uh, as you can see to your right, we have Planet Hollywood, one of the more famous restaurants here in Disney Springs. It's pretty cool, but we'll come back to that later. We have a mission first. And there to our left, we have AMC Dine-In Theaters. Pretty cool place. You can watch a movie and enjoy a pretty decent meal at the same time. Definitely a different experience watching movies, I'll tell you that for sure. As you can see, they're still making a construction here. They keep making this place more and more bigger. So I'm definitely excited what they're going to put next, because so far it's been a definite improvement from what it's used to be when they still called it Downtown Disney. This is the bridge that's taking us to those new restaurants in the new location they made. As you can see, even on a Tuesday night, it's pretty busy here.
here we have Paradiso 37, which is a bar slash restaurant. It's been there for a while now, but it's still very busy. And one of the popular ones. And I believe that's our first stop, the Hangar Bar. When I first checked this place out, uh, the boat house was open, but this has, wasn't open when I came here last, so now we'll both have a nice surprise to see what they got in store for us. Ooh, let's see what they have over here. Some live entertainment. Oh, we miss it. They're doing a conga line. We'll come back to that. First, let's check this place out. Which is the Hangar Bar. It's a nice little entrance we have. Let's take a look and see what they have in store. It's a nice little place. I'm not sure. There should be some extra rooms. That is the one good thing about Disney World is that they, when they uh, decorate their places, they go all out. Make everything look very authentic to their idea. I'm oh, sorry. So they have like a little lounge area over here in the corner. They have like this nice little submarine here as well. Let's see what we have out here. Oh, nice. from out here too. open bar area over here.
atmosphere here is great. The boathouse is right next door, so that's where we'll be heading next after here. It's a nice little area, it's like something to like chill, take a break from everything, while still have the same energetic vibe that you get from Disney World.
This place is incredibly packed. It's insane. Seems like a nice little corner hang out though. I mean, me being Captain America all living in the 1940s, it'd be a great place to be at. It's kind of my neck of the woods. guys let's go ahead and head out for now let's check out the next stop on our little tour and that's going to be the boathouse that's the next stop is the boathouse and from the looks of the outside it's a pretty big place I'm just saying I think it's like the next big restaurant they have going on here it's kind of different from the hangout which is small little more of a bar kind of scene while wow, this place is a full-blown restaurant Let's go ahead and take a tour on the inside and check it out.
we have here. So you can tell they use some pretty fresh seafood here. This is the main bar area. Very lively. Getting run over by everybody. And you have live entertainment in the back over there. The tables here are amazing, though they have uh, opening. Tables out here on the dock side as well. Disney Springs actually. Nice little area to walk around at, especially when you're trying to get away from people. It's pretty quiet, but a little bit more quieter back here than it is over there, that's for sure. It 
look, they even got a little bar in the back over here as well. And this is a view of the boat. This is a view of the boathouse restaurant from the back of it. From back here, it's a pretty big place. I think of everything that they added uh, to uh, the new downtown Disney area, the Disney Springs. I feel like this is like one of the really nicer uh, additions. That's for sure. That's pretty cool. They have a, I really don't think they they work, but they have this thing called a am, amphicar landing, which I guess is like a mix of amphibian and car dock based ramp. And it's like I guess it's supposed to be cars that you could pull into the water and they turn to boats. That's amazing. Again, I really doubt that they uh, don't that they work at all, but it's a nice little you know prop they have for scenery. It's nice, it's different. It's Disney. It's that Disney magic. I'm trying to go as steady as I can because I know the, the video probably is a little grainy. But I know when I slow it down a little bit, I uh, the quality gets a little better. Again, I do apologize if I, when I'm walking, it gets too shaky and stuff. Again, this is my first time doing this on my own. It's my first time doing this on my own, so, uh, let's see, uh, you know, I'm just getting used to it and everything. People are staring at me as well, and I can't tell if they're staring at me because I'm holding a camera, walking around very slowly around a restaurant while people are eating, or the fact that I'm wearing my Captain America t-shirt with my Captain America shield, and they're staring at it and looking at it and thinking how amazing it is, because I have been getting that all day today as well. And I believe they actually do work. Yes, from the inside scoop, I just got a full confirmation that you can pay to take a ride in those cars and they go in the water and you could drive around in the lake of Disney Springs. That is amazing. One well, of these days I won't have to take a ride in that. Get a little stroll in Disney Springs. I don't see any boats out at the moment right now. Chances are maybe they might uh, just do those during a day. Right now the only thing they have going on is uh, the ferry to get to the resorts which is a bigger boat of course is what that is over there. I think it's hard to tell in the camera. See if I could zoom. Zoom. Yeah, that's the boat right there. They're about to uh, either drop some passengers or take some passengers now. Yes. The 
let's keep going see the rest of the Boha restaurant. What I like about the restaurant too is like they have everything. They have a full sit down restaurant, they have a bar in the back, and they have a gift shop. A gift shop. And of course it is Disney World and it's all about theme parks and attractions and whatnot. So of course they'll add a gift shop to it. But as I passed by it, it was pretty nice looking. So we'll definitely take a look at um, what that is over there as well. So I'm going to make my way around the dock over here and uh, see what else we got going on. Coming over here gives me great ideas to take my uh, fiance out on a date, that's for sure. It's a nice little romantic atmosphere as well. Like I said, over here in this area, it's a little bit more quieter than over there. So while you can enjoy the live music and everything, you could take time to uh, come to this corner and just, you know, relax for a little bit, have some alone time. Unless you're the young party, ty party type, then, you know, this is the place for you as well. So the lounge area. And they have some pretty cool looking boats over here as well. What's cool about these boats is that even though they look very unique and different from everything, they are actually replicas of the actual boats from actual models that Again, everybody, I do apologize for the laggy and the grainy. I know when it's nighttime, especially on this on this phone, I've noticed that during the nighttime it gets very grainy. I promise you, it takes amazing pictures because it has a 13 megapixel camera. I'm really surprised that the the quality is this low. Again, this is you know my first test run. You know, hopefully, I could do another test run during the day. See if that may be a little better as well too. But I'll try to do the best I can. We're going to go ahead and keep moving on with the tour. I'll do another stroll through the restaurant if I can. It's pretty packed in there. And head to our last place on the, on the tour.
it's a really big restaurant, I can tell you that. It's huge! So we have, uh, I think this is the back side of it. <laughs> I think someone just called over to me. Hi! <laughs> They're calling me Captain America back there. <laughs> I don't think they use this area very much. Yeah, I believe this is the back of the restaurant. We definitely have to come back on a less busy day. Just to take a good close look at everything in detail and stuff. It's just a lot of people. And I don't want them to think that I'm just like creepily recording them. Thank you. See, everybody loves the Captain America outfit. I feel like it's gonna be like my official like wearing uniform when I do these uh the streaming. Thank <laughs> you.
Oh, and this is the gift shop I was talking about. It's a nice little gift shop. Of course, you know, it ties in with the thing that they have going on. We get, like, gift, like, t-shirts that have Boathouse on it and everything. And, of course, it got there. Got a bar in there? I know. Oh, you did? Yeah. I saw it. Yeah. 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 See, to me, for some reason, I feel like with the more light that I'm getting in the camera, the better quality it becomes. Again, I don't know if that's just me or not, but it's pretty decent here. The sunglasses. Me and my dad love sunglasses like crazy. Like he literally spends like seven, six, seven hundred dollars a pair in sunglasses. It's crazy, but it's totally worth it though. Ah, uh, cute little nautical pillows and whatnot. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and head on out. We're going to go to our last stop in the visit on the, on the tour tonight. I think it's called Raglan Road. It's supposed to be, I think, a Scottish pub or restaurant. So, that place I haven't been to either, but there's a first for everything. So, let's go and check it out. As you can see, we got right back to square one from the entrance of the Bauhaus. So I want to say the Raglan is keep going more further down the street. So let's take a look.
going the right way or not. I might have to ask for directions here. Thanks so much. That was a new song called Let's All Us. Oh, well, look at that. I just found a sign. And it says, Cooks of Dublin and the Hole in the Wall Bar. Just around the bend. And it says, Right on Road right there. So I'm pretty sure this is the place we're looking for. Yeah! Just around the bend. And that is my really crappy Scottish accent. So let's check it out. the place I think this building was already here for a while and they I believe they might have added like changed it up a little bit because I know the building's been there because it looks very familiar otherwise they built the same building or they built a different building and made it look exactly alike to throw you off that could be me just talking crazy I'm just saying Is this Raglan Road? This is uh, the quick side of the side of Raglan Road. This cooks it up. Okay. So Raglan Road is the next building there. Next building over? Okay, yeah. cool, cool. I just had to ask somebody because I had no idea where I'm going. But it looks like this is like a little, they call it, what's it called? Hole in the Wall, which is the other on the other side of Raglan Road. But that's not our stop. We have to go check the other place out. I believe it's like all one thing I want to say. Ah, this is the hole in the wall. I've seen this place before plenty of times. I had a couple of drinks here. It has a hole in the wall where you just like want to get something to drink really quick on the way to the place of your, your destination and you just want to get a little tipsy or have a nice beer. This is the place to go to, because they serve it really quick. You guys want to hear something funny? I, I, I turned, looking this way, I looked at some people sitting down, and as soon as I caught their eyes, they look completely away from me. I still look like they are just nonchalant, like, you know, trying to, like, inconspicuously staring at me. I caught them. They're just admiring my beautiful backpack. It's gorgeous. I know we're ending our stream at 10 p.m. tonight, so next time when we have a little bit more time, I'll show off my uh, cool backpack to you guys, and you'll understand why my nickname is Captain America. And I believe this is Raglan Road. I'm going to go around this way, though, just to make sure I'm going to the wrong, right place. Cause that part of it looks like a gift shop. No, that's not the place. <gasps> there it is. I found it. Raglan Road. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it. So I guess it's an Irish pub on one side and a gift shop on the other side to take care of the Irish and you. So when you come up to it, it looks like they have some wine. 
here, I believe. A couple of drinks here. See, they get you some drinks even before you go into the place. And they also have live music here. Guess this is the outside area. It's pretty nice. to downtown Disney since I was young. Pretty sure he's taking one long nap. You keep sleeping, old man. Now let's take a look inside. It says, please wait to be seated. Let's see if they'll give us the okay to like take a little stroll through here. Pretty sure that's okay.
section with more tables and stuff of course I think it's just grainy just because of how dark it is in here. But I think this is it. It's one of the smaller restaurants, but it's still really cool and stuff. We definitely have to come back here during uh, one of the other days during the day where it's not as busy. So you can take a look at a closer look at all the details they put, but it's Disney. They put so much work into, you know, all the places they have, the theme parks, the restaurants, the stores, everything. They pay attention to every little detail. I think that's just like one of the coolest things. It's like there's like nothing that they're missing. It's like, oh, you want an Irish atmosphere? This is the place. If you want like a nice seafood, um, a nice seafood restaurant, you have the boathouse. If you just want to hang out at a bar and just get on some snacks, there's a hangar, and it just, the list just goes on and on. It's just great. I definitely think Disney Springs is a great addition.
up area. So if you go to your left, you have the restaurant, and then to your right, you have the gift shop. Disney has everything. It's insane. That's a nice little gift shop. It's cute. Cool. Get your souvenirs and stuff. To help get the Irish out of you. I know, again, a very bad Irish accent. I'll stop with that. I feel like I heard a kid in the background just yelling at me. Nay, why does he have a bad Irish accent? Cool, so that was Raglan Road. Very, very cool stuff there. I like it. Alright guys, well those are the three stops that was, you know, the main place we, we wanted to go to tonight. Again, I do apologize for the for the resolution of quality. I really do feel like it's just the nighttime or like the darker areas. It just, for some reason, makes the camera all pixely and whatnot and everything. But I'm very excited to be able to do it during the day and hopefully get better quality videos so I could try to get the best picture for all you guys that are looking out for us. I did want to give a quick shout out to Ariana. I hope she's one of our fans of me and uh, Rad Ginger and everything. I know she's asleep right now, but I still want to give her a shout out. And I thank her so much for uh, watching our, our streaming. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's, it's hard in October at this month. Um, just me with a busy schedule and everything. But hopefully, you know. Hopefully Ian likes my stuff and he'll keep me on board and stuff. And I'll definitely be a lot more available in November. And hopefully be able to do a lot more streaming and stuff. But for the time being, I try to do the best I can. I believe the time right now is 9.57. So again, yes, this is Disney Springs. It keeps getting bigger and bigger. I've been coming here ever since I was a little kid. Always a very mellow place, but with the new additions, they, the new renovations and everything, they definitely added uh, more spice, you know, more alive more life to this area and it just keeps getting busier and busier even if it's during the middle of the week it's like really these kids now have school or something yeah, I'm not judging but I'm just saying I'm just kidding they're probably just tourists or something I mean, hey if I had kids I'd be like Psh. Disney's the best who needs school <laughs> I'm just kidding stay in school A 
Alright, you guys, I'll go ahead and uh, end it there. Again, thanks again for um, everybody that's been watching tonight. And this is a uh, official nickname will be Captain America from now on. Just because chances are I'll probably be in one of my Captain America shirts and outfits. So we're going to stick with that. Alright, you guys, until next time, have a wonderful night, morning, afternoon. Depending what side of the country you're at, or so whatever, uh, whatever side of the world you're at. So everybody have a good rest of the day, night, afternoon, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Until then, see you!